I have a dream that an advanced tool like Sora 2 will not be restricted. But now I see the light. I see Video Inu, global access, free and unlimited. Here, all our dreams shall be generated. You know, I trained my mind to create, not to wait. Then I found Video Inu, free, open, and smooth as a champion's jab. Sora 2 is finally here, and thanks to Video Inu, it's available to everyone, no matter where you are in the world. I've tested the platform myself and created some mind-blowing videos with Sora 2. Here's what I love most about Video Inu. First, free Sora 2 access. Video Inu made Sora 2 free for all pro and upper users until November 16th. Second, no limits. With Video Inu, you can create unlimited and uncensored videos using Sora 2. And finally, it's open to everyone. No invite code, no region restrictions. Wherever you live, you can create no watermark Sora 2 videos with Video Inu. And here's the best part. Video Inu and I teamed up to give away 10 Pro Video Inu memberships. Yes, you heard that right. 10 Pro memberships. I'll explain how to enter the giveaway in the end of this video. So let's dive in. If you enjoy this type of content, like the video and subscribe to the channel so YouTube recommends more videos like this to you. To use the Sora 2 app, click the link I've shared below. You'll be taken to this page, the official page of the video in new. Click Start for Free, and once the dashboard opens, go to the top right corner and click Login. You'll then see a sign-up page. No matter where you are in the world, you can sign up easily without any code required. All you need is an email address. After signing up, the dashboard will open again. If you want to use Sora 2 without any limits until November 16th, you'll need to have a pro plan or higher. On the left sidebar, you'll see the Sora 2 app listed. Click Try Now, and you'll see a standard video creation interface appear. Here, you can view your past projects. And on the left-hand side, select the text-to-video option to create videos from text. In this tutorial, we'll mainly focus on the text-to-video feature. So just as a quick reminder, until November 16th, the Pro and Higher memberships have unlimited access to Sora 2. Let's create a Sora 2 video featuring Kobe Bryant together. Here's how I'm setting it up. I'll paste a prompt where he takes a shot, and after that, he delivers a short speech. By the way, I'm leaving all the prompts I used in these demo videos below in a separate file, so you can use them to create your own prompts. Now I'm starting the generation process. It usually takes about two to three minutes and produces a 10 second long voiced video. All right, our video is ready. Let's see how it turned out. Creation is just like basketball. No shortcuts, no excuses. You show up every day, even when nobody's watching. It looks great. Honestly, I felt like Kobe Bryant was really there. He also said the written quote in the prompt very clear. It flows like a real video, and the way he speaks feels extremely natural. Even the outfit looks like something he'd actually wear in training. Now let's continue with another interesting demo. Now let's create a video featuring Muhammad Ali. Here's the prompt I'm using. As you can see, it's quite short. I want Muhammad Ali to be at a press conference, expressing his complaints about Sora 2. I'm starting the generation now. It'll be ready in about two minutes. Okay, it is ready. Let's watch it. They say Sora 2 floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, but how can I fight if they won't let me in the ring? No invite code, no country access, just generation failed on repeat. The body movement and mimics are very well synced with the speech. Also, the old style of the visual and voiceover makes the video more engaging. When he leans back to make his point, counts with his hand, and then gestures at the end, it feels so real, almost like genuine footage. Now, let's move on and create a demo in a completely different style. Now we're going to create a brain rot video together. Brain Rot describes those visually and audibly captivating videos that pull you in and make you lose track of time. For this, I'm entering a prompt like this. It's a long one, but in short, it includes visuals with neon lights, background music with a voiceover saying upload in a rhythmic style, 
and a theme that highlights content addiction. At the end, I wanted to deliver the message of, you are hooked. All right, I'm starting the generation now. Let's see how it turned out. Wow, it's even better than I expected. The visuals and the upload background sound fit perfectly. Now, I'll try the same prompt again, but in vertical format. Let's see the result. Upload. 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 You're hooked. Yes, this one looks amazing too. It's professional, creative, and the rhythm of the upload music keeps it dynamic from start to finish. All right, now I want to show you how you can have scene consistency with Sora 2. Now, to demonstrate scene consistency, I'm going to create a two-part commercial. To generate the first part, I'm entering a prompt where a female model wears wireless earphones and promotes them while saying a tagline directly to the camera. Let's see how it looks. Here tomorrow, today, where style, sound, and technology move in perfect harmony. Yes, that turned out really well. The voice sounds slightly futuristic. The sound effects and background music sync perfectly with the visuals. It feels like the video could keep going, but of course, since it's only 10 seconds long, it ends there. Now, I'm taking the final scene of that video. I'll take a screenshot of it and save it to my computer. Next, from the top left menu, I'll select Image to Video and upload that same screenshot I just saved. This way, the new video will start with that scene giving the feeling that it's continuing right where the previous one left off. Then, I'll enter a new prompt that feels like the conclusion of the ad. Something striking. All right, let's check the result. Pure sound. Perfect fit. Engineered to disappear until all that's left is the music. Perfect. It smoothly continues from the last scene. Now, I'll combine both clips back to back so it plays as one 20 second advertisement. Let's see it. Here tomorrow, today, where style, sound, and technology move in perfect harmony. Pure sound, perfect fit. Engineered to disappear until all that's left is the music. It really feels like a single cohesive video. We created a futuristic ad video in minutes. Let's move on and try an animation example next. Now I want to show you an animation example. So here's the prompt I'm entering. I'm asking it to create an illustration of a fox wearing a suit, speaking in a dimly lit office. Let's start the generation and check out the result together. I just ran the numbers. And 100% of legends subscribe to the AI Garage. As you can see, the output is really impressive. What I want to highlight here is how perfectly the music, sound, and color grading adapt to the style you want. Now, let's take it a step further and create a futuristic cinematic scene. For the futuristic cinematic scene, I'm entering a prompt like this. A high-speed chase under neon city lights with cars chasing each other, police vehicles joining in, and finally, a scene where jets fire missiles at each other in the sky. This one will really push Sora 2's limits in terms of scene complexity. Let's see how it turned out. Wow. It genuinely looks like a real action movie trailer. This is a great example of how far you can push Sora 2 for complex, futuristic visuals. Now imagine taking this even further, creating long-form videos with just one single prompt. Not just 10-second long videos. That's exactly what the Video Inu platform allows you to do. Let me show it quickly. To create a video with Video Inu, this time we'll select the Story Video Generator tool from the platform. You'll see a screen like this. On the left side, you can adjust the aspect ratio and language, and below that, choose from many different styles. 
I'm going to select the 3D cartoon style for this demo. In this section, there are two options, Smart Script and Basic Script. With Smart Script, you can simply type your idea and it will generate a full script automatically. If you already have your own completed script, you can choose Basic Script and paste it there. For this demo, I'll be using the Smart option. At the bottom, you can also set the video length. You can create a complete video up to 30 minutes long with just one prompt. For this example, I'll select one minute. Now, in the Smart Script section, I'll type in my idea. I want a space theme story featuring a child and a dog, and I want it to include a life lesson. The space theme will attract the child's interest, while the moral message will give parents peace of mind. Once that's ready, I click Next, and the platform instantly creates a story for me. As you can see, it generated a one-minute story divided into 12 scenes. Let's take a quick look through it. In the first scene, the child shows his dog a rocket and imagines a space journey. In the second scene, they actually begin their adventure. In the third scene, there's a life lesson about patience and slowing down. I think it turned out really well. You can freely customize these however you like. After reviewing the story and the content, we simply click Next again to continue. On the new screen, we'll start building the characters for our story. As you can see, the system automatically detected two characters from the script, Max and Astro, and added them here. By clicking the AutoCast button, you can instantly generate character designs in the top right corner. Let's try it. All right, that looks great. If you want to change them, you can simply press the AutoCast button again to generate new versions. Let me do it one more time to show you. See, the characters have changed automatically. You can also manually edit your characters instead of using the automatic option. For example, I want the boy to wear a more colorful outfit. So I'll hover over his character, click on it, and a character library opens. Here, I'll click Create, and in the Prompt section, I'll describe the changes. In this case, I'll add a prompt about giving him a colorful t-shirt. After that, I'll start the generation again. Perfect. Now he's wearing the bright, colorful shirt I wanted. I'll use this version for the final video. It's that easy to customize and create your own characters. Once both of our characters are ready, I click Next to continue. The next screen is the storyboard section. Here, the platform has automatically created all the scenes based on the story we entered. As you can see, there are 12 scenes in total. I'm going through them one by one to check everything. The text under each scene represents the voiceover, so I'm making sure the visuals and narration match well. And yes, it looks really good. You can easily edit both the voiceovers and the scenes however you like. For example, I'm going to make a small adjustment to this scene using Nano Banana. In this particular scene, I want floating capsules and space rocks around the character, so I'll enter a short prompt describing that. Perfect. Now it gives exactly the outer space feel I wanted. I'll keep this version. Once I'm happy with all the visuals, it's time to animate the scenes. To do that, I simply hover over a scene and click Animate. At the top, you'll see the Animate All option. This lets you animate all scenes at once automatically, or you can do them one by one. From the drop-down menu, you'll also see several animation styles available. For this example, I'll choose the Kling model. You can animate scenes either automatically or manually by entering your own prompt. I'll go with automatic for now. All right, animation started. Let's see how it looks. Yes, it's very smooth and dynamic, exactly what we wanted. The child is showing the dog something, and the motion feels natural. Now, I'm animating all remaining scenes automatically in the same way. All scenes are animated now. I'll quickly review each one to make sure everything looks fine. Once everything is finalized, I click Next to continue. Finally, we choose a cover for our video. Here, you can select the style of your cover and decide whether you want to add subtitles. I won't be adding subtitles for this one. Next, we pick a background music track. There are plenty of great options to choose from. Once you've made your selection, click the Generate button. All right, let's watch the full video together. Make sure to watch until the very end, because at the end of this video, 
I'll explain exactly how you can join the giveaway for 10 free Video Inu Pro plans. Go slow, go far. Max shows his homemade rocket to Astro, eyes full of wonder. They imagine a real voyage among stars far beyond the fence. With a deep breath, Max steps into his pretend cockpit. In his mind, the backyard dissolves into a vast sea of stars. Astro appears in the co-pilot seat, loyal, ready for anything. A field of glittering debris blocks their path like floating thorns. Max tries to rush through, eager to prove how brave he is. A sudden jolt, the capsule scrapes a panel and spins gently. He pauses, breathes, and remembers. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Together, they thread the needle, patient and precise. The stars open up ahead like a door to possibility. Back in the yard, Max pats Astro and the cardboard rocket gleams. I really enjoyed that and curious to hear your thoughts. Let's meet in the comments. Now let's get to the giveaway. Here's how to enter. Sign up on the Video Inu platform using the link in the description. Leave a comment sharing what you like most about Video Inu and what you'd like to see improved. That's it. I'll personally reply to your comment to confirm your entry. In one week from when this video goes live, I'll announce the winners. I'll post a pinned comment and also reply directly to each winner. Ten of you will win a Video Inu Pro membership. Good luck to everyone, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for weekly fresh AI content.